Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. Ongoing rehab is putting Roger Federer in a race against time to be fully fit for the Australian Open. Now, recently honored at the Swiss Sports Awards in Zurich, Roger cast some serious doubt on whether or not he can play in Melbourne. This year, the 39-year-old underwent a pair of arthroscopic surgeries to his right knee, one in February and then a second one in June. Fed says he is still working to fully recover from that second surgery. He had hoped to be 100% by October, but unfortunately says that didn't happen. And he doesn't want to take the next step until he's fully ready. As we tape today's news in mid-December, it looks like the 2021 Australian Open is going to be pushed back to February 8th. Now, Roger says if it is pushed back, that may help him, but who knows? If Federer is forced out of Melbourne, it's going to snap his streak of 21 consecutive Australian Open appearances. And it, of course, is going to give Rafa Nadal a shot at his 21st major title. And if he can pull it off, he will take sole possession of the men's all-time Grand Slam singles record. Just a year ago, Federer saved seven match points to beat Tennis Sandgren en route to his 15th Aussie final, where he later lost to Novak Djokovic. He hasn't played since then. And at those Swiss Sports Awards recently, Federer raised some eyebrows all over the tennis world when he said that he hopes to return to the courts in 2021. But if his career were to end now, it would be an amazing end if he could end it with this award. Well, some, of course, interpreted that to mean that Roger is thinking about retirement. However, Fed has made it clear he wants to play next year. He just needs to be completely confident in his knee, in which case Roger may simply need more time to rehab. He says he's aiming for this summer with Wimbledon, the Olympics and the U.S. Open, adding that the next three months for him are pretty crucial. And with COVID vaccines on the way, other events may get pushed back later in the year, which also may help Federer's comeback. Last month, the ATP announced its move to a best of 24-month ranking system due to the pandemic, which is something else that benefits Federer because even if he misses Melbourne, he is not going to lose ranking points until March, which helps for tournament seeding purposes. We do know that whenever RF returns, he's going to be wearing RF. Roger announced on Instagram that he has regained control of his iconic RF logo from Nike, captioning this post, reunited at last. Uniqlo, Federer's clothing sponsor, has already rolled out some new RF baseball caps in a variety of colors. So here's looking to the end of the pandemic and a return of Roger and all of our favorite champs for a brighter, healthier 2021. We've got our fingers crossed. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.